Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Archers. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome back to my returning subscribers as well. Thank you for your comments and your feedback down below. And welcome back, Sagittarius. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It truly is an honor to have you here. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe and share this message with who you know the reading today may resonate for, Sad G's. Yes, come on in. We're going to start with your career and finances here. All right, we're going to check in here for the month of July when it comes to your career and your finances, and then we'll dive into your love life to see who is in your energy here and why, all right? So definitely take here what resonates for you, Sagittarius, and leave here on the table what nuts got. The readings here are general, all right? If you would like to book a personal reading, my email details are down below or just in the description box, all right? So we're going to see what's coming towards you when it comes to your career and your finances here first, okay? What do we have for the collective Sagittarius placement? What's the collective messages for Sagittarius Pisces when it comes to their career and finances here? What do we have for the Archers? Let's see, what do we have for you, Sagittarius? Wow, we got Payday. All right, Sagis. Okay, so Payday is going to be looking pretty good. Payday is on its way, Okay. Some of y'all, the payday that you have gains more access to you to have more financial stability here with payday. Wow, we got vacation. Okay, sad G's, fuck it up. You all are going to be booking a vacation here pretty soon or now is the time for you to take a vacation for some of you all. You may are getting more vacation days within your working environment here. What else is going on in Sagittarius's career and finances here? What else is going on with Sagittarius's career and finances? Let's get one more card here. We got deadlines, okay? So make sure Sagittarius that you are meeting your deadlines, all right? And not waiting to the last minute or procrastinating, Sagittarius, because I know sometimes we can procrastinate. Okay, so make sure that you're getting your deadlines knocked out before they're actually deadlines. Okay, make sure that you're getting your ducks in a row and that you're meeting your deadlines before they come. Okay, we got payday here, which you shouldn't have no reason not to. All right, your payday finances is here is looking good and you're having space and room to actually take a vacation at this time. So definitely take advantage of that. All right. And then here at the bottom of the deck, we have competition. All right. So within your working environment, there may be competition. All right. There may be again with the payday here, there may be a opportunity to increase your income within your working environment. There could be a promotion that's coming up and it could be an offer between a certain amount of people. All right. I feel like within your working environment also there may be a new position or opportunity and you may have to compete with others to be able to get that position, right? All right, so be mindful of that as well. Okay, I like it. So far, so good when it comes to your career and finances here, Sagittarius. So let's now dive into your love life, Archers. Let's see what's coming towards you for love. 
I see what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, when it comes to love here in romance for the month of July. Okay, we have reconcile here. Someone from your past, Sagittarius, is returning to your love life. Okay, so this could be from your previous past life when you reincarnated here now. Or this could be someone that you've already met during this lifetime as an ex or someone from your past here that is returning to your love life here, okay? Then we have, wow, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Sagittarius. So whomever this person here is that is returning from your past, all right? So to speak here, this is someone that is a true love offer, okay? Someone that is definitely in a genuine space now, okay? We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this is going to be a very highlight in your relationship here, okay? Um, there is definitely going to be a spiritual connection here with whomever this energy or this person here is that you are going to be experiencing true love here with, okay? And then we have unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So some of y'all are also going to be finding yourself separating from someone that you may currently obviously be with. Now, for some of you all that are actually in a relationship, you may find yourself separating from that person or going through a separation. You are realizing for some of you all, Sagittarius, that this person here is no longer requited. They're no longer in that space to have enough attraction or chemistry for you to keep the relationship going. And others of you all, you're meeting someone new here that is a romance of a lifetime here. And then others of you all, someone from your past is returning to you. So we got three different situations and circumstances going on, okay, Sagittarius, when it comes to love for you. So choose your pick here. I know we're all Sagittarius on different timelines. So just take again which one of those resonate for you. And then we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, so the ones that are in the process of uh, separating from your partner, your spouse, um, whomever this person here is, they could also be the mother or the father of your child with the child being here next to the mother, okay? And there could be situations and circumstances that you may be concerned about, Sagittarius, as you go out through this transitioning of a separation with this person and spirit is wanting you to allow things to unfold naturally. Don't try to force yourself to do things during that separation or let's just say you may having to co-parent with this person now. So it's going to be different for you having to transition and, you know, coming up with days to agree with and things of that sort for visiting for the child here, okay? So again, spirit wants you, instead of trying to, you know, be control of that, just allow things to unfold naturally on how things should go for that, for the ones that are in the process of separating and may have children by that person, okay? Because we got three different love situations here, you know, romantically wise that is going on here, okay? Wow, so let's get into some tarot. Let's see what can we find out about this situation here and why. Let's see who is this person that is in your energy here, Sagittarius, and why when it comes to love. What do we have for Sagittarius for love and romance? What's going on in Sagittarius' relationships? You know, what do they need to know when it comes to their connections and relationships here? Let's see what's going on here, Sagittarius. Going on with Sagittarius's love life here. What's the collective messages for Sagittarius? We have the Nine of Swords. Okay, some of you are this person could be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini here. Okay, someone here is stressed out, Sagittarius. Okay, they're 
or in a space where they're not able to think straight, okay? Um, they're definitely in their head a lot about this situation. If this is for some of y'all that this person you may be separating from here, someone here is not feeling too great about that. Um, they definitely think about you a lot. They haven't got much sleep lately here with the Nine of Swords energy, okay? They could be a little bit depressed right now. And we also have the Six of Wands, all right? The Six of Wands here, this Leo energy here. This could also be uh, Aries for some of you all and a Sagittarius, all right? Let's see what else. Let's get one more card here and then I'll clarify the energies here for your love life. One more card, please, Spirit. What else is going on in Sagittarius' love life here? We got here the Ace of Wands. Wow, Sagittarius. Yeah, like I said, it's a mixture of everything here. <laughs> There's definitely two different situations, even in the tarot here. Um, there is a situation with someone from your past, okay? And then you have someone new here with the Ace of Wands for true love. And it's crazy how this is going on over here with unrequited love. And then this is going on over here for the new beginning for the Ace of Wands for true love. So the ones that may be single and you're in this energy and you're going to be meeting someone here, okay, that's a romance of a lifetime for you. And then other Sagittarius that maybe just recently broke up with your partner or um, separated here. This is what's going on on this behalf over here. All right. So let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Why do we have the Nine of Swords here for Sagittarius? Clarify the Nine of Swords here for Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles. Damn, Sagittarius. Someone here is stressed out of the fact that you are now single. This is something that they don't want. They're not happy with this. They're not happy with you being single. Just knowing the fact that you're single really messes this person up in the head a lot, okay? Um, and the fact that you are establishing and building things here, Sagittarius, on your own, or just not even on your own, but without them, is what is um, difficult for them to obviously process here. The fact that you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy and you are in this space and they're in this space of feeling hurt or um, maybe even having regrets here for what they may be done here towards you in the past. They don't, they can't fathom the fact that you're single. They can't fathom the fact that they're not with you. They can't fathom the fact that they don't know what's going on with you every day and they don't have access to you either. Some of y'all, this person could be a Virgo here with the Nine of Pentacles as well, or they could be a Taurus here or a Capricorn, or again, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini here as well. So let's clarify the Six of Wands. Why do we have the Six of Wands here? Some of you all, this person could be a Leo here that you are exchanging energies with, or this person could be a fire sign. This new person here for true love could be a fire sign. They could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius here, Archers. Clarify the Six of Wands. Why do we have the Six of Wands here for Sagittarius? Okay. We have here the Moon card. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. And then we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Cancer energy again. Also, Pisces and Scorpio. Someone here secretly feels like, damn, Sagittarius, this is fucking stuff. This is the same energy that's over here. This person, again, they could be an air sign or an earth sign here, or they could be a water sign here. This person, again, they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Damn, Sagittarius, this is fucked up. Someone here definitely hates the fact that they missed out with you. 
They really feel like they missed out with you um, because this card also talks about victory and success. And I feel like this is the lane that you're in once again as this Nine of Pentacles energy here is. And because you're in whatever type of career or whatever this is that you have established and built for yourself, this person here is regretful of that. They're, they're sad because they can't be there next to you and by your side. And at this point, you know, they've been keeping this to themselves because the moon card is here. This is an emotion and a feeling here. We know the moon represents your emotions and your feelings, right? And the fact that this is something that they've kept to themselves. They haven't necessarily told anyone that. But with the moon card next to the four of cups in reverse, that talks about someone secretly realizing that they missed out on the opportunity. Because when the four of cups is in the upright, that talks about rejecting this person is rejecting this offer, but it's in reverse. So someone feels like they miss out on an offer. Secretly, they've been keeping this to themselves. So they even kept this from you, Sagittarius. You, well, you know now, but you may not knew this, obviously, because they kept it to themselves. But they Every time they watch you, because they're definitely watching you, whatever it is that you do in the public, okay, some of you all, um, you may work as a leader in your community um, or whatever it is that you do in the public, because a lot of people are inspired by you, Sagittarius. A lot of people look up to you. If this is within your working environment, within your family, within your circle, um, you may have a platform here that you help with okay and this person watches you whatever it is that you do they observe you rather if they're observing you from your social media or um within your family here whatever it is you do because it's very inspirational whatever it is that you do and this is how they see you in their eyes and the fact that they're no longer able to to share that experience with you it fucks them up in the head time and time again because and they definitely be affected by it at nighttime when they're alone or when they're by themselves or when they're you know in the space in their own mind and I'm sure even in their dreams here, okay? Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Why do we have the Ace of Staff here? Let's see why is the Ace of Staff here, Sagittarius. Wow. Definitely if the reading here so far is resonating with you, Sagittarius, smash that like button. All right, share this message with who you know the reading today may resonate for as well. And definitely, again, if you're new here, subscribe, Sagittarius. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family as well. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Why do we have the Ace of Wands here? We got the Eight of Wands here. Wow, this is good news. This is, I feel like, again, this energy here for true love. Because some of y'all, like I mentioned, you've met someone new here. Some of y'all, this person from your past can't fathom that either. The fact that you're moving on and you're going towards a new beginning with someone new. Is someone also having a difficult time processing here as well? Wow. High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. So this is something that you already knew, Sagittarius. So what I'm telling you, everything that I'm telling you here, this is something that you've already is aware of showing up as the High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all, this person could be a Pisces as well with the High Priestess. All right, we're going to close out and use my Raw Tarot Index cards here to see what this person wants to say at this point and how they feel, all right? Wow, definitely again, Sagittarius, if you would like to book a personal reading to kind of see what's the potential outcome here in the near future for you and this person, again, my email details are down below in the description box, okay? Let's see what we have here. Wow, we have, I wish you was here. Yeah, I told you, this person really misses you, Sagittarius, and they definitely realize that they missed out on an opportunity with you. I feel like as this person peeks in on your life and how they observe you and watch you from what it, from wherever 
and whenever they definitely miss the fact of being with you and they think about you so much that they wish that you were still in their life. Yeah, look at that. Oh, poor little Ting Ting. Songs remind me of you. So a lot of songs remind this person of you. When they hear certain songs, they immediately think of you. Okay. Wow. We have, I want to marry you, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now this could be the experience either with this person from the past or with this new energy here that you're connecting here with for true love over here. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Damn you fine. So yeah, this new person that you are dating here, they're very attracted to you, Sagittarius very attracted to you and then we got this person here why you do that to me so i feel like this is this energy here where they're still trying to you know get an understanding of what maybe have happened here between you two here in the past what else let's get a couple of more Damn, we got i want you so bad sagittarius wow this person definitely bye bye Mm -hmm. look at that i'm not letting go so easy so this person over here this is what i was picking up the whole entire time that this person again they can't fathom the fact of you moving on without them and then we have i love everything about you sagittarius wow yeah you definitely even have this new person head over heels for you sagittarius all right, archers, I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Again, definitely, if this reading here has resonated for you, don't forget to like, subscribe. All right, again, share this message here with whom you know this reading today may have resonated with here. Again, if you would love to see what's the potential outcome here between both energies or both situations here, again, you're welcome to email me to set up a personal reading and if you would love more content, Sagittarius, definitely come and check us out on Patreon for more content, early access to my readings before I drop them on YouTube. You also get daily energy check-ins for all the zodiac signs. You get weekly astrology reports and free questions every time I go live for my Patreon family. So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, we would love to have you here a part of our soul tribe. Definitely come check us out on Patreon. That link is on the home page as well. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for your time. And I definitely wish you and this person the best, my loves. All right. Bye-bye.